What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks with Harold and we are doing a Harold update. Now I am filming this one just a little bit differently than we normally do because I just can't figure out what's going on with my camera. It's very annoying and uh, if you guys watched the video where I unboxed the youth space helmet, I think I talked about like why isn't my camera working correctly? It's showing these lines. I don't fucking understand it, and I haven't found a fix yet. So until I can get that situation squared away, I think I'm going to be using my phone, so the videos might be a little bit different. The uh, quality might be a little bit lesser as far as like production value, but it is what it is. We have filmed on phones before, and uh, just is a thing. So yeah, just wanted to uh, get that out there and let you guys know what was going on with that, and now we can get on into the Herald stuff. All right, so here we have Harold as he looks today. I believe today is day 201 or 202, somewhere right around there. And as you can see, he looks pretty bondagey right now. And uh, all that is is black duct tape. I just decided to stick it over the eyes. And then I cut out some really jagged little eye holes. And uh, then the next day I went ahead and did tape over the mouth and cut another jagged line in there so that you can actually see into the mouth and stuff. But uh, yeah, just gave it a really weird bondagey, like, BDSM kind of look, I don't know. Almost has an old school Slipknot feel because a lot of their old stuff was very bondagey with the bondage hoods and the leather straps and the zippers and stuff, so I don't hate it. And uh, this comes right after the pumpkin look and you guys can't really see anything in there, but it did look like a jack-o'-lantern there for a while. I'm sure that you guys saw it in some of my videos. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that there as well. And I honestly don't know what the uh, the next thing is going to be. Typically, after we get done with like an epic look, the uh, the look kind of subsides for a couple days, maybe a week, and then uh, we get on the trail of something new and cool and fun, and it ends up being my new favorite. So who knows? I was also kind of thinking that I never really wear him for these videos, so I figured I'd try to go ahead and do that, and uh, maybe try to stick that in all of the rest of the updates that we do on him. Because uh, I just never really did it, and I don't know why, and I'd like to give you guys a, uh, a feel for what he looks like when being worn. Because I actually do wear him pretty often. Um, I try to wear him at least once a day, just uh, for a little bit. That way he gets a little like natural wear and tear from what a mask is for, and that is wearing. So yeah, this is uh, me wearing Harold in this update, obviously. And just another real quick cool shot that I can add in here is Harold with all of his clown brothers. We've got Stinky over there, we got Nomad in the back, and then we've got the outside clown. Ended up naming him Hermit, but I think everybody just knows him as the outside clown. So here are the four horsemen of the clown apocalypse. These have all been different uh, clown project masks. For anybody that doesn't know, I started with Stinky. I just used and abused him for an entire year. Pretty much anything that would have been done at a Slipknot show on stage with their masks, I did to him, and then uh, we moved to Nomad, which was sent out to different artists for like a week at a time, and they got to do whatever they wanted with him, and then this one we left outside in the Ohio weather for an entire year. Now we are doing Harold, which I'm sure you're familiar with if you're watching this, but if not, I just make one change a day to him, and uh, we're going to see how he ends up at the end of the year as well. He is also the only copy that is latex. The rest of these copies are vinyl, and I wanted to switch it up and kind of do something different, so I went ahead and did latex because I have a feeling that it is going to break down at least a little bit and definitely a little harder than those guys in the back. So, that's an update on that. And just some general info for anybody that is somewhat new to the channel and is kind of wondering what the deal with Harold is. There you go. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. I just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what he's gone through recently. We've done the jack-o'-lantern look for most of the Halloween time. I just started adding this black tape, and now I'm not sure what else is going to happen. I actually haven't done a change to him today, and I need to figure that out. But as always, I'm going to end this video with all of the photos that you guys have missed between the last update and now. In case you don't follow me on Instagram or you're not in the Facebook House of Masks Hangout group, you guys get to see all of these updates all at once at the end of the video. So I will start with the last photo that we did around the time of the last update and run it all the way through until today. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you very, very much. Say no to drugs and alcohol. And until next time, we will see you later.